When we began our master planning process a decade ago, our goal was to develop model student-centered campuses with a pedestrian-oriented core, sustainable buildings, open green space, and an emphasis on efficient land use. We made a commitment to preserve the historic heritage of Penn State while embracing the uniqueness of each campus. We also urgently needed to bring our facilities up to a level that could support Penn State's $700 million research enterprise, which ranks as one of the largest in the world. Penn State is home to one of the largest concentrations of advanced material scientists in the world. And we are the top university in the nation for research expenditures in material science. But our scientists have been dispersed across campus in nearly 40 different locations. A new facility to be called the Millennium Science Complex will bring together more of our faculty and students from chemistry, engineering, biology, medicine, physics, and other areas. The Millennium Science Complex is currently being designed by one of the foremost architects in the world, Raphael Vignoli. The building is a project for two uh, sciences which are traditionally much more separated than the future indicates they will be. You can see that the building is both a gateway as well as a point of connection between these two sciences, material sciences and life sciences, and a gateway into the large piece of public space to the corner. So in a way, this intersection between physical objects and life is sort of kind of creating yet another realm of development of technology. So you would be having a, uh, a, a, a game of light coming into it. But as I always say, most important thing in this is not really what the building does, but what happens inside of it. And what will happen inside of this building is perhaps one of the most important uh, transformations of intellectual pursuit and, uh, in, in human history. <laughs>